everyone, I am Linda with Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds and I'm back with another sales results video. Uh, last couple of weeks sales have been pretty slow for me. They um, I've had a couple of good days but overall the, the summer slowdown has definitely started. And uh, But I do still have quite a few things to uh, show you here. So uh, I am just uh, getting into my phone so I can keep track of what best offers I accepted on some of these. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, this uh, Floby, it's the second, this came from the big estate auction haul that I got that included three of these. I sold one of them immediately after listing it, and this is the second one. I still haven't listed the third one. Um, I accepted an offer of $50 plus, uh, plus shipping, and um, I'm already well into the profit on this whole lot, so uh, pretty pretty happy with that. So keep an eye out for Flobies. I can't say that I see them often at garage sales, um, but I think I have seen them a time or two in the past. So that's what they look like. People do still use them. You hook it up to your vacuum to get the suction, and there's different um, these little. Um, adapters for the different style cut that you want and you somehow cut your hair this way. I don't, I've never seen it actually used. But Next is a Texas Instruments calculator, TI-61. I picked this up, oh, uh, I don't even remember, I think I probably picked it up for a dollar or something. I'm not even uh, sure where I picked it up. But I got $30.00. I did do free shipping on this, and uh, it sold pretty quickly. It sold in the first month that I had it listed. I consider an item sells quickly if I, it doesn't ever have to be relisted or sold similar. <clears throat> Next is this uh, Hilo Hattie shirt. Um, Hilo Hatties are hit and miss with how well that they'll sell. Um, it pretty much depends on the the pattern but this one was so bright and colorful I knew it'd be a good seller and it sold like in the first week or two that I had it listed for full price of uh, $25 plus shipping and uh, here is the label they are um, usually they are vintage and they do have a following so in general they sell pretty well but like I said the, the better the pattern brighter it is the better and this was also a 2XL so that definitely helped as well Next is another Bible. This one was pretty, the, the cover was pretty worn. Inside was in good condition. And it's what they call a marked Bible, color-coded. And what that, that's meaning is it's like pre-highlighted with different uh, highlighted colors for, for different study purposes. Um, these sometimes are called rainbow Bibles. Um, they're, they have uh, quite a following. And uh, so I... I grab, I think actually this is the first one I've ever found, but I will grab any that I can find since I researched and found out that they are pretty well sought after. But this was an older one, and um, and the cover was very worn, which I made very clear in the listing and, of course, with the pictures. And uh, this I picked, a, or I uh, accepted an offer of, oh, what did I, there we go. I accepted an offer of 1280 plus shipping, so they wanted it 20 shipped. I went ahead and accepted it. Sales were slow, and it was pretty worn, and I only paid 50 cents for it at a, a state sale. So I went ahead and to took the 1280 plus the shipping. So This was part of a big box of wooden track. It was a mixture of brands, Thomas the Train, Brio, um, and a couple of other type brands, a Target brand, and then one other older European brand or something. But they're all interchangeable. So I put up these straight ones, straight track, and sold them for $10 plus shipping. But uh, for the entire box, I paid $10 at a garage sale. And this is just a very tiny fraction of what I have. Uh, I just listed a bunch more uh, this week of other parts. So uh, hopefully I'll start getting uh, more sales of this track. And you know, it'll probably be slow sales, but uh, they'll eventually move out and be quite a bit of profit there once it's all said and done. 
Here is a salad shooter. I picked this up at a church rummage sale for I don't know, a buck or two and sold it for 15 plus shipping. It's kind of funny the shipping's almost as much as the item itself, which is the kind of pain with some of this kind of stuff that has a little bit of weight to it and a size so it doesn't fit in a flat rate box and so you got to ship it by weight and parcel post is rarely a good deal price wise I and mean, it's got to be a super super heavy type item before uh, parcel post comes into play or even a UPS ground or a FedEx ground so but uh, somebody bought it in the first couple of weeks I had it listed so this I had for quite a while it was a big lot of typewriter um, ribbon and the different font type things that you put in this particular typewriter. Um, I sold it all as a lot. I got it all at a garage, uh, not a garage sale, at the thrift store. I think I paid about $10 for it. Had it for a long time and finally it sold for the $40 plus shipping. So uh, glad to get that out of my basement. This was a super quick sale, <clears throat> sold in the first couple of days I had it listed, picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar. Um, I know it was in really, really good condition, then when I got home it actually had the original tag in the pocket. So I sold it as new without tag, but then pointed out I do have the tag, it's just no longer attached. And I put the tag back in the pocket. So it sold in the first couple of days for $26.99 plus shipping. This was part of a big lot of 8-track tapes that I got, a lot of which were still new and sealed. This particular one was new and sealed. The uh, person who bought it is a collector. Um, I know that because he sent me a message um, telling, telling me to pack it well so that it wouldn't get damaged because it was going to be going into a collection and would not be opened. I don't know why that it triggers me when people send a message saying to pack it carefully and everything. I pack everything carefully. I don't need to be told to do that. Thank you very much. But I know there are a lot of eBay sellers out there that really don't. I know that because of some of the stuff I've bought and how it's been, how I've received it. But um, so anyway, that is going into a collection. The um, I think I paid uh, like a dollar an 8-track tape at this estate sale and this one sold for 20 plus shipping. Uh, I've also sold another one or two over on Etsy. So I have I have some listed on eBay, some on Etsy. So they're going to be slow sales. Um, the one thing to look for with 8-track tapes, and unfortunately none of these were this case, but look for quadraphonic. If you find any that say on it quadraphonic, they go for much more. Um, so if you you see a bunch of 8-track tapes that are in, in you know decent condition, look to see so, somewhere on the, the package or the tape itself to see if it says quadraphonic, because those are the ones people are really looking for. Here is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger, vintage based on the, the, the old label there, extra large, but it was the color that really jumped out at me on this actually out at my friend a friend of mine found this at the thrift store and uh, sent me a picture and asked if I was interested in this and I said yes because uh, I know these bold colors like this are popular with the Tommy the Tommy fans sold at 25 plus shipping and sold in the first week or two I had it listed next is a pair of jeans buckle black uh, that is what the label looked like. It also said three fit on it. It was distressed with the holes that are popular. Here's a closer look at the label. And I had these for, let me think here, did I have these over a month? I don't recall. I don't think I ended up relisting them, so they must have sold in under a month uh, for 35 plus shipping. And I would have picked these up I think I got these at a thrift store like for like four or five bucks. Next is a hat I picked up at a garage sale. Uh, I thought I I picked it up. It's a fitted, so it's you know it's not adjustable. So it's a one size hat, or not a one size fits all, but it fits one size seven and three eighths is the size of this one, but. I thought the pattern was super cool because that's that raid, r rail I can speak railroad striping. 
and that can be popular. So if there is a railroad fan, a train fan, who's also a White Sox fan, I knew they were going to want this hat. Picked it up for a dollar at the garage sale. It had never been worn, so it was sold as new without tags, and uh, sold in the first month I had it listed for 30 plus shipping. I like that one. Some ink cartridges I picked up. I think I paid two dollars a piece for these. Decided to just put them together. Uh, one was black, one was the color. It's for the HP 60XL and I got 40 plus shipping. I like those as well. So it's a mug. I had this mug for... Uh, hmm, did I ever... Did I, this, I think this may have sold in the first month. It sold for 15 plus shipping. Not a lot of money, but I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's a Laurel Birch. Uh, the artist is Laurel Birch. She's very popular, has a big following. It is vintage, 19, so almost vintage, 1993, I guess, I don't know, whatever you consider vintage to be, but Laurel Birch, uh, it's usually cat and flower themed, um, but she does have quite the following, so that's why I picked it up. Um, I kind of have a system down now for shipping mugs. I used to hate shipping them, but now I wrap it in bubble wrap, put it in a 6x6x6 six by six by six box, and then put that box in an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight eBay box and ship a priority mail. So I slap the priority mail stickers on it. And um, the, I haven't had any break, knock on wood, and, uh, and it's always still under two pounds, so the pricing's not too exorbitant for the, uh, the customer. And um, so that's how I do my mugs now. Double box it. This is the projector lamp that I picked up. I showed in a, a haul video that I got along with some slides that I picked up at the thrift store. Paid five dollars for everything and this bulb sold within a, two weeks. I don't know if I, in a week or two. It sold quickly. Forty bucks plus shipping. Keep an eye out for these old vintage bulbs. People need them for their old vintage slide projectors, movie projectors. Um, just make sure it's not broken. Um, it came in the original box, the original packaging, and uh, I make a lot of money on these. I picked up a huge lot of these last year at a, um, an antique mall, paid $25 for the entire box, and I have probably made upwards of over $500 from that box selling these bulbs. Values are going to range depending on the, um, the model number. So this was a DJL. So it's easy to look up. Just look up projector lamp and then put in whatever the, the three-letter code is to see uh, what comps are. This happened to be a good one. And uh, some of them, just they don't go for as much as others. So prices can range anywhere from $10 to some of them can go upwards of $75, $80. So uh, keep an eye out for them at like estate sales, um, antique malls. Uh, I don't very often see them at garage sales. I was actually surprised to see this in the thrift store, but um, yeah, you can look for them there as well. This was the Polaroid camera I just got last weekend in the electronics haul that um, I did my last video. Uh, I showed stuff, a bunch of stuff I got in the estate, online estate auction, a bunch of electronics that included the Kindles and, and uh, vintage radio and, and whatnot. And this camera was in there along with a box of unopened film. Uh, I didn't include the film in this auction. I'm going to sell that separately. <clears throat> but I did list this camera. Listed it a uh, day before. Well, let's see. It sold the 27th. And today is... Yeah, so I listed it yesterday morning. And about six hours later, it sold. For $18.99 plus shipping. Might have underpriced it a bit. But I'm okay with... I'd rather have an item sell that quickly than to hold on to it for a month or two just to get another three or four dollars out of it. Um, so I'm very happy to get a quick 19 bucks out of that, get some of my money uh, back from that haul. Uh, and I've already listed some of the other stuff as well. I listed the, uh, the orange vintage radio on Etsy. I already had one inquiry about it, but I haven't sold it yet. And um, I listed one of the Kindle fires, and so that's going to be a nice lot once I get everything up and listed. So, and the last item I have is an Etsy sale. I showed this in a haul video. 
Um, picked it up at a garage sale for four dollars. Um, actually, a little bit less than four because I ended up bundling. And I sold this for fifty dollars on Etsy. And uh, it actually sold pretty quickly. Sold within a, a few days, I believe. Um, it was in good condition. It's a cigar holder. So a vintage leather cigar case, three finger, um, with the embellished leather down here. So that was a real nice flip. Paid less than four, sold for 50 on Etsy, where the, uh, the fees are much less than eBay. So my net in pocket is even higher than it would have been if I'd sold it on eBay. And it would not have sold for as much on eBay. So um, I'm really trying to get more and more stuff on up on my Etsy store. Um, because I like the lower fees and the higher price you can command on a lot of stuff. So that was nice. Nice flip there. So that's what I have uh, this weekend or this week. I will be back this weekend with a, uh, a haul video to show what I pick up. And I hope everyone's sales are, are doing pretty good. I know it is the, the slow summertime, but just keep listing. And uh, some people run sales. Sales don't usually work very well for me, but they do for other people. So find what works for you. Uh, don't get frustrated with the slow sales. We know it's always coming in the summer. Just keep listing. The more you have listed, the more that has the potential of selling, which that in itself will increase your sales. So um, just, just keep it up. Don't get frustrated. And before you know it, summer will be over and we'll be getting into Q4. So anyway, you all have a great week. I will see you again this weekend with a haul video. And... Uh, if you uh, like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subbed, hit the sub button. And uh, I will talk to you all soon.